Hare Krishna was Karana not discriminated against uh, because of being considered a charioteer's son? Answer Yes, that's true. He was discriminated against because of the <coughs> because of his low because he was considered to be of low birth and that was definitely a disadvantage from him through for him throughout his life. But along with that, he also had a, a congenital armor, a coverage which made him, uh, which protected him from death at the hands of his opponents. So the Pandavas, although they had also been fathered by the gods, they did not have an advantage of the protection of this magnitude. So Arjuna did not have any congenital armor. So in a sense, Karana was disadvantaged because of his low birth, but then he was advantaged because of his armor. So he did. Uh, so we could say that the playing field was leveled. So we all begin with some advantages and some disadvantages in our life. And Karana did have a disadvantage, but he also had an advantage. Secondly, if we see that everybody has disadvantages and we cannot go throughout life complaining about our disadvantages. The Pandavas, you know, they were just children when their father died. And when they came back to their kingdom, they had to confront an envious cousin who tried to poison Bhima, who tried to poison one of the Pandavas. And then later on, they attempted to be burnt alive. So what fault was there is that they were born in the same dynasty as the vicious uh, Duryodhana who made them the target of his horrendous manipulation, horrendous schemes. So we could say that if you want to talk about destiny discriminating or giving a bad deal, the Pandavas also got a bad deal. And we have to, from this life's perspective, life is not fair. And we just have to accept it and live with it. Now, from a broader uh, perspective of multiple lifetimes, we can understand that uh, whatever we have done in the past, that's what comes to us in this lifetime. So the Mahabharata explains that uh, Karana in his previous life was a demon named uh, Dambhodbhava. He was also known as Sahasra Kavacha because he had been blessed by, uh, he had a thousand Kavachas, thousand armors protection. And these were blessed, given to him by Surya Dev, sun god, who had, whom he had worshipped quite fervently. Now he had got a blessing from the Surya Dev that he that made him almost immortal, undefeatable. He had that benediction that each of his covertures would protect him for a thousand years. That means an aggressor would have to fight with him for a thousand years. And only then they would be able to destroy the coverture. And not only that, after destroying that coverture, uh, that person would immediately fall dead. And then, who, so basically, how could somebody, that means it would have required, it was almost impossible to defeat him. So, and he went around terrorizing the universe till he met his match in Narnara and Rishis. So, Narnara and they are considered one person manifesting as two, in two forms and they challenged this Dambhod Bhava, the Sahasra Kavacha. And what happened with Sahasra Kavacha was that Narnara and Rishi, uh, who one of them fought while the other performed austerity and a third part of his benediction was that you know next time to fight and kill him uh, to f break one of his armors a person would have to perform austerity for a thousand years so what they would do is Nara say Nara would fight with uh, with uh, Sahasra Kavacha while uh, the well, Narayan would perform austerity, then Narayan would fight with him for a thousand years and break one of his covetures. And then, by that, Narayan would fall dead. But during this time, Narayan had performed austerity for a thousand years and had acquired enough ascetic merits, merits to fight with, uh, fight with uh, Sahasra Kavacha. And then he would fight, Narayan would fight for a thousand years and he would destroy a second Kavacha. And during this time, Nara, who had been revived by the mystic austerities performed by Narayan, he would perform austerities for a thousand years. And like that, the two were alternated in fighting and doing austerity. 
and by this uh, labo arduous and prolonged arrangement they destroyed 999 of his uh, covetous and then becoming fearful this demon seeing his end nearby he fled and he fled to the surya to sun god who had given him that power and sun god uh, seeing that he, this person had come to his protection seeing that he had surrendered to him offered him protection and nanara and they wanted to finish off their work but surya dev told him he is in my protection you cannot attack him now and then uh, surya dev was thinking of what to do with this demon who was with him now and at that time he uh, at that time kunti uh, chanted a prayer by which she could get uh, 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 she could invoke the surya dev and surya dev came there and he offered he impregnated kunti and that's how he got a son so uh, that son was uh, karna and because sahasra kavacha had one kavach remaining so now karna have was born with a kavach now the thing is that because he had done so many demoniac activities in his previous life that demon sahasra kavacha who now was born as karna had some demoniac qualities but because he had worshiped the sun god because he had been with the sun god because he had been fathered by the sun god so he also had some good qualities and thus he was a is a complex character a grey character with both good and bad within him so overall because he had done so much uh, bad karma in terms of terrorizing the universe earlier so in this life he also had to suffer some of those consequences by being uh, by not getting the prestige of being a kshatriya although he had some uh, he had the valor the vigor the Uh, archery skills of a kshatriya he did not get that so that was a part of the karmic reaction that he got and beyond that what is important is to recognize that this he was discriminated against and this kind of discrimination according to caste is not the uh, is not the standard of the vedic tradition in the bhagavad gita krishna talks about how at the time he descended at that time he says uh, the pure knowledge the pure principles that he had taught at the start of the creation they had got lost sakale ne hamata yogo nashtah parantapa by the power of time things had become deviated krishna told arjuna krishna is telling arjuna so that means the culture that we see at the time of the mahabharat is not the ideal spiritual culture it is a deviated culture and a part of the deviation was the uh, discrimination of against people based on their caste as was assigned by their birth but krishna tells later in the same bhagavad gita fourth chapter itself 13th verse that chaturvarnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagashah he says that the caste system is actually determined uh, the varnashram not exactly caste system varnashram is determined by qualities and activities guna karma it is not determined by birth and thus actually speaking krishna is telling arjuna that this is a deviation so you know every age has its blind spots you know oh, so every age has its so we see that people are discriminated at different times in history by by different forces so well, to live amidst whatever blind spots are there in our particular age that is the defining challenge of life uh, in all ages and how we navigate now we understand that why are people born with certain why are people born in an age where there there are certain blind spots so why were blacks born at a time when uh, uh, when there was discrimination against uh, racial discrimination against the blacks well why were native americans at a time when the Brit- britishers came and they practically annihilated them well it is just we understand this is the way karma acts and we have to live with the kind of situation we are in we have to make the best of a bad deal so karna had to live at a time when he was discriminated against and he had to make the best of it so he certainly was discriminated against but uh, everybody faces problems and we cannot uh, do wrong because we have got wrong you know the pandavas were also they also suffered we could say unfairly because uh, they they were persecuted by their own cousins but still they stuck to the path of virtue karna unfortunately chose the path of wise by siding with duryodhana and that was his fatal mistake thank you hari